Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. For today's video, we are going to be doing a shopper drop. And basically what that is, is I go through Trend Mood 1's Instagram page and I tell you whether I will be shopping the item or will be dropping it from my list. We're just gonna talk makeup, talk new releases and all of that good stuff. So if you would like to see what is up and new in makeup, then just keep watching. Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. I just kind of felt like sitting down and going through Trend Mood because I haven't looked too much at the new makeup releases lately. A few videos ago, I told you guys I was going on a low buy. So the kind of rules for my low buy is I'm just purchasing things that get a dedicated review video. So I can't just add items into my car. I can't just purchase things because I want to try them. Unless they are worthy enough of having an individual review on my channel, then I'm not going to be purchasing it. At this time, I need to just say, up some money and kind of go through some of the other products that I have in my collection and bring those items back into my videos. So that's kind of where I'm at. So I might be a little bit more cutthroat than usual, but gotta do what I gotta do. I know a lot of you are on low buys or no buys, so I hope that we can do this together. It's been a very long time since I've gone through Trend Mood, so we're gonna start off at April 14th. I'm just gonna pick out items that are really speaking to me. So the first one I want to talk about is the Sigma Beauty Corderosa palette. Now this this one is already out and I've just got a lot of questions as to whether or not I will be purchasing it and the answer is no but I want to. I think when this goes on sale I will eventually d purchase it down the road because I've seen very positive reviews about this palette. I think it is really stunning. Corderosa is one of my favorite blush shades ever. It's from Sigma Beauty. That's what this kind of palette is based off of and it looks gorgeous. I really really want it but right now like I don't really feature Sigma on my channel too much as like an individual review worthy kind of product so I have to pass on it and drop it from my list, but I'm more so keeping it in my cart, but never actually pressing purchase. So that's where I'm at with that, but it looks gorgeous. I also am getting questions about the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray, and though it intrigued me, and at first I was like, absolutely, I'm going to be getting it, I decided to drop that from my list because I won't be doing an individual review, and I also just have a lot of setting sprays that have been sitting in my drawer that I want to go through, and I feel like I can finish a setting spray pretty quick. I love it spraying my face down. So before I go and buy new babies to the family, I want to get through what I already have. But this does look good. But I don't see how a setting spray can really add like this soft focus kind of look that we're talking about. At the end of the day, I feel like a lot of setting sprays are kind of the same. And this one is a very, very pricey one. So I will not be purchasing this one. Nabla also came out with a cutie collection where they came out with three different cutie palettes. I have one from their previous line, the nude one. And honestly, that one as gorgeous gorgeous as it was. It didn't really impress me. I just didn't care for the quality of it. Now, I don't know if this matches up to the quality of that cutie one, but that one I felt like the masks were kind of weird. So obviously, I don't know if it translates over to these, but these I actually almost did shop. I went on the Nabla website and I almost purchased the platinum one because that one looks so stunning. Like I was on the website added to cart, but I eventually talked myself out of it. I think that if the platinum one gets restocked at Ulta, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm on a low buy. Just kidding. So before I was on the low buy, I was definitely shopping it, but it sold out at Ulta and I think shipping or something was really expensive from the Nabla website. So I just said, no, I don't need it. But now that I'm on a low buy, obviously I can't buy it because I'm not going to do a dedicated review to it. But just know it does look really pretty. The other palettes look pretty too, but they haven't caught my eye. I know Mel really likes one of the like berry ones. I don't remember exactly which one. So I've heard good things about them, but I got to be sensible but I really wanted that platinum one. <laughs> All right, let's kill a few birds with one stone here. I wanna talk about the top two items, the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss set and the Patrick Ta Brow Waxing Gel, whatever that is. What is it called? The Major Brow Shaping Wax. So I almost bought that ABH lip gloss set. Obviously it's the last thing I need, but ABH actually has really nice glosses and those colors are really pretty. So if you're in need for glosses, that's a really pretty set. And then the Patrick Ta Shaping Wax, I've got a lot of questions about that. I'm not getting it. It just isn't something I feel like I need. I also have, let me show you, something that seems very similar. I don't know if this would actually be a dupe, but a few months ago, Flower Beauty came out with these bubble brows and it's the same concept. It's like a wax. You wet the spoolie and then it really pastes your brows down. So if you're looking for a more affordable option, look into Flower Beauty bubble brow. They actually did it first, this whole wax idea, wet it. So Patrick Ta, this isn't that revolutionary. So if you're looking for a more affordable option to give 
a try flower beauty bubble brow these are actually really good i like these a lot so no i won't be purchasing that then we have the melt cosmetics for 20 palette i am going to drop this one from my list this one just looks like the other palettes that they have in my opinion like all of the other palettes and i'm just not interested in the color story like i like melt palettes and i know a lot of you guys love melt palettes but for me i have two the smoke obsessions and the gemini i love those i love the color story but all of the other palettes that have come out i'm just not that interested in. I know the Rust palette, that one looks really pretty. I didn't purchase it. My mom actually did. We're waiting for that to come in the mail so that I can also take a look and I'll let you guys know if that seems to be good or not. But for the most part, the two palettes that they've released, I haven't really been that interested in. And this color story does not speak to me at all. So I'm definitely going to be dropping that from my list. Did you guys see on Amazon that Maybelline is coming out with their Fit Me foundation in this little pouch? Oh my gosh, they had amazing marketing for this because in all actuality this is like a cheap move like this packaging is so cheap but honestly I'm kind of here for it I don't I worry about how actually good the packaging is like is it not gonna leak or anything like that can it easily be cut can it easily be transported but I think this is a really good idea and honestly I think it's better than the actual packaging that they have because it doesn't have a pump I feel like this is easier to get the product out a little bit more mess free and like trying to pat it out on your hand and too much comes out at once I feel like you get more control with this spout and you get more product as well so I don't think this is a bad idea I think it's a way to cut corners but trick the consumer and say no this is bigger and better it's not but it's a little bit more functional so I like the fit me foundation a lot I have my bottle I'm not gonna get this I don't use it enough to repurchase another one when I already have a perfectly good bottle in my collection but this is a really good foundation and I know there's a lot of diehard fans for the Maybelline fit me if you are a fan like that's very interesting packaging. I must say, not a lot has come out with all of the stuff going on in the world. I'm sure there's a lot of factories that can't produce products for companies and companies just don't want to push out product during this time when people aren't shopping. Like so many launch dates I'm sure have been moved back. I feel like Chenmut's been quite uninteresting lately, but we have the Dior Forever Summer Skin. I don't think we have a release date for this, but I am very interested in trying it. I think that I will be purchasing this will be shopping it. I love Dior base products. I think they do a really nice job. I did purchase their new, I think it's their summer collection, like their summer games collection. So there will be a review for that coming up. I'm just waiting for it to come in the mail. I love Dior and I love their skin products. So I'm interested in this. The only reason why I'm kind of not 100% sure is because my skin is not great right now. I have some texture. I'm having a little mini breakouts everywhere. One, I don't really want to try too many new face products to make my skin go even more crazy and then two like these summer skin products don't look that good on my skin right now so I feel like it's unfair of me to give a review saying it's bad because I just have bad skin so I'm still on the fence about it but I do think I will end up purchasing it so you'll find out obviously eventually did you guys see Gucci is coming out with this Poudre de Boot? a matte pressed powder by Gucci as of four days ago it still says it's coming soon I love a good pressed powder I'm not gonna lie I love a good pressed powder pressed foundation powder foundation all of that so this is very interesting to me it looks really stunning it will be available in 12 shades and encased in a refillable compact mm, I'm not sure let me know if you guys would like a review of this if I don't get enough comments this is definitely a drop but if you would like to see my thoughts on it definitely let me know down below so you guys are going to depend whether or not I shop or drop it, but I am intrigued for sure. I love a good pressed powder. That's up to you guys. Also, Nomad Cosmetics came out with a Studio 54 collection. Actually, I believe some percentage of the proceeds do go to like COVID something or rather. So in the collection, you have a quad and then you have two highlighters. First of all, can we just talk about how gorgeous this looks? So the quad is like lid toppers and then you have these multi-chrome or duo-chrome highlighters. I've never tried Nomad Cosmetics, but spoiler, I did purchase this. This was before I decided to go on a low buy. So this isn't a brand new collection. I mean, it is, but it's not like announced in the most recent days. I ordered it a couple weeks ago and I have the quad in my possession. I haven't used it yet. The lid toppers do seem a little bit sheer. I'm not sure. I need to put them on the eyes to really fully judge them 
but I am excited to give that a go. I'm excited to try out Nomad. I wanted their Tokyo palette, but it was sold out, so I got this one instead. So that's kind of how that came about, because their Tokyo palette looks gorgeous, but I'm excited to give this one a go. Also, if you didn't see, Viseart came out with some new lip oils. I really enjoy their lip oils. They're very different from the Dior, if you've experienced the Dior. They're not as sticky. They're a little bit more slight, a little bit less long wearing, but they're a little bit more moisturizing in my opinion and just very easy to throw on in the morning. You can actually get these, I believe, for 20% off at Muse Beauty Pro right now if you use the code MBP. I posted that on my community tab as well if you want to take a look for the link. But you can get 20% off as long as the sale is still going on at Muse. But if I was not on a low buy, this would definitely be a shop. I really enjoy the lip oil formula and I feel like these colors would really brighten up the face because naturally the formulation of this, there's not much pigmentation. But I feel like for some just that little tint on the lips is going to brighten up your face. So I'm very excited about these colors. They're very different from the colors already in the range and I feel like they would be gorgeous. So I would recommend those. Honestly, if I wasn't on a low buy, I would be purchasing them. Y'all, we have another collection from NARS, another orgasm collection. Um, no, I'm not going to shop anything from this, dropping them from my list. But honestly, the products look nice, but I'm so bored with NARS. NARS has such good products but now everything they come out with I feel like is repetitive and not inspiring and just something that we've seen before multiple times again and again over and over from them. I bet you these products are beautiful and if I saw them real life in store I would probably end up purchasing them. However, obviously that's not gonna happen probably not anytime soon. So I'm dropping these from the list. I'm not picking them up and I won't see them in store so I won't be tempted either. So dropping these just because they are the last thing in the world that I need and a oh, boring at this point. Of course, the Wayne Goss Lip Collection Wayne Goss Cosmetics is about to drop. I believe May 5th is the date, but yes, absolutely, I will be picking up some of the colors up. I don't know how much yet. I haven't decided because, I mean, they're not that cheap. Like, a lipstick is $28, a lip liner is $14, which isn't bad, and the gloss is $22, so those are going to add up quickly. I do want to get a good range, though, so that I can give you guys a very fair and thorough review. I'm not going to pick everything up just because I can't afford that, and that's that. I will most definitely be shopping these products and doing a review. I'm so excited. Also, Bobbi Brown is coming out with this really beautiful summer collection. It is a collaboration with Flower Girl NYC. And Bobbi Brown can get boring. I love Bobbi Brown. I think they produce really great quality products, but they are boring. They are repetitive, but their stuff works. This collection, I am eyeing hard. It says it will be releasing sometime this month. Tell me, people, how stunning does this highlighter look? And then you also have some blush and glow duos. Very interested in those. Some oil infused glosses. I might pick up one of those. The colors look very nice, very wearable. And then finally in the collection, you have three cream shadow sticks. Honestly, guys, I might have to pick up this collection. It's one of the very few Bobbi Brown collections that really pops out at me. Those blush duos look great for summer. The highlighter just looks like a collectible item. I really love it. I'm on the fence. Again, you're gonna have to let me know how much you want to see a review on these because you guys are gonna dictate what I do with my money because I don't need it but I am feeling inspired by this and I love Bobby Brown and I love to support Bobby Brown. So you guys let me know, should I shop or drop it? Not sure. If I was being reckless with my money, I would absolutely shop this collection. Between the Wayne Goss and I already purchased the Dior, I don't know if I need to purchase another collection. This will be the last one that I'm talking about. So ABH in her Norvina line, she's coming out with these electric cake liners. These are coming out May 11th. Now these look like those Suva liners I've never used those, but you like get the brush wet and it get crazy colored liners. I I'm not going to be purchasing this. I'm dropping it. It's an interesting concept, but I just feel like it's not anything that I would need. Really cool colors and I think it's a great way to get really vibrant liner. I don't do those kind of looks. So I have no reason purchasing this, but if you're into those crazy looks, this might be something really cool to get, but I don't need it. Just thought I would share that. All right, so that is it. That is my shopper drop for this time. Let me know if the products you would like to see me review that you think I should pick up. Like I said, kind of a lull time with good reason of what's going on in the world. None of us really need to be shopping. Are any of us gonna actually wear like lip products if we're wearing masks? Do I even need? <laughs> I don't know what just so much confusion going on anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful if you are interested in me reviewing any of these products don't hesitate to let me know down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one